Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi-boss gold guides where I show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Now keep watching to see how it's done. Alright guys, so for this farm, we are located out here in the Hillsbrad foothills, right here at the ruins of South Shore. Now, some experienced gold farmers may have already seen this farm before, uh, done, it's been done plenty of times by other gold farmers. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm going to show you how you can multi-box it. Uh, it Maybe my way is a little bit different, but uh, anyway, as far as the way this goes is you're killing these, you know, right here where the main is, you're killing the, these angry blight uh, slimes, and there's even a couple little blight slimes. Uh, but mostly the potatoes and stuff are killing the little blight spine, uh, slimes. So you're going to actually have... Two different macros you're going to use uh basically uh with your main and with one of your potatoes which uh the main uses just the target enemy macro which is just slash target uh enemy uh slash you know cast the spell which i'm using sunfire and then slash uh slash use oozing uh oozling bag because you want to open that bag so you have a chance to get the oozling pet um, what you get from, you know, killing oozes around, all around, you know, World of Warcraft, uh, which this is what the bag looks like. It's the oozing bag. Sorry, not oozling bag. Drops the oozling pet. Disgusting oozling. Um, but anyway, guys, as far as the way this works, you want to use the target enemy for your main because of the two different named mobs here, the angry ones, and then ju just the regular blight slimes. And then for... This potato over here, it's the same thing. It's, you know, it's killing the angry and the, you know, just regular blight uh, slimes. Now, you do have to make sure that with that potato that's over here, that they are actually facing the mobs. Because with target enemy, it's not like the slash target with the three first letters of the mob's name. It won't actually just kill any, and target any mob all around them. It only targets the mobs in front of them. Uh, and that's the thing with, you know, there's no route for your main. You can just sit here in this one spot, but you do have to constantly turn around and face the, uh, whichever direction the mobs are up at. So, see, I have to turn and, and then I'll have to, you know, turn back around and face the enemies for them to spawn. And, and that's all you do for like a minute and a half, two minutes. And you, it takes so, it's so quick to actually, you know, loot these mobs. You can run it almost up to that two minutes i was i was going to about 150 uh what you know one minute 50 seconds to right around two minutes actually uh before i'd start my looting phase now when you start your looting phase uh you just go to where all your potatoes are located and you know uh loot those areas and make sure that you're using the key bind for your loot ring on your potatoes so they're also looting which of course the first potatoes right here where i have circle you know because like i've pointed out the macro is a little different for that one but the rest of the potatoes they're only killing the blighted sl slimes the neutral mobs so you can actually for them use the slash target you know um bli slash cast sunfire slash use oozing bay um for them because they're only killing one type of mob and that way they can hit everything around them and they don't have to be facing the mobs and stuff. So there's there's your second one where triangle is, right up from where circle is, right here. And then your next one's over here where diamond is, right here around all these gravestones and things, right here. And then your next one's right over here where square is, right by this like broken down house thing, right up from where your main is. So it's a really small area. It does not take long at all to get back to. And you know, yeah, I mean, it's. Really, you know, it's, it's kind of relaxed because you can just sit in one spot, but at the same time, you need to make sure you're moving around in circles. Uh, now, you could possibly use your arrow keys and just constantly turn your character and spam your macro and watch a movie or something. Uh, I didn't do that. I just watched it the whole time. Um, but that is an option if you don't actually want to, like, pay attention to the screen until, you know, except for checking the time. Um, but that is an option for you to do. Um, and you can even do that with your other tunes if you only wanted to make one macro and do the slash target enemy just you know use your 
uh, what you know keyboard arrows unless you're like you have uh, WASD uh, detailed as movement keys in your um, hotkey program but uh, I don't or whatever because I don't use WASD to move anyway I use my mouse uh, but I do have the arrow keys for movement and as you see all of the tunes are moving um, but that's just an option for you if you want to take and do it the laziest way possible you can do it that way uh, so anyway guys let's go ahead and cut the clip and we'll go to the loot that I got for the hour and see just how many oozlings I got and if I got anything else good all right guys so now that we are over here all grouped up and everything ready to go ahead and go over the loot um, main thing we're going after of course is the oozling pet which as you see my main got one two three four five of the oozling pets uh, had to learn four of them and then put them in the bag that way and then I do have one of the unlearned versions as you see though the value does drop as you learn learn the pet you can possibly sell it both ways though uh, some people will buy the unlearned version uh, and pay the extra amount for it for I guess a chance to get a certain uh, type but anyway the there is a chance to possibly get the black tabby cat as well I would imagine since you're in uh, the hill, Hillsbrad foothills uh, but my main didn't get any um, so that is unfortunate I uh, was hoping that you know be a chance for two pets here I've done the other black tabby cat farm which uh, if you look up at the top of the screen go check out now um, which I've always seemed to at least get one or two out of there uh, granted you can't get any of the uh, you know uh, oozling pets out of that uh, you can only get the black tabby cat but as you see here I really don't have any transmog I only have a few little low value pieces they're not even worth going over but with the other farm I mean you can get you get like the buccaneers vest and uh you know things so there's decent pieces actually dropped from that so i'm not really sure how i feel about this part i mean if you need the oozling pet i mean i got five of them that's really good as far as getting the oozling pet and i do actually need some right now so that is good uh, i wouldn't say i mean it's bad there's you know the respawns are good and everything but as far as getting anything other than the oozling pet doesn't really seem like uh it's all that great to go after um, but if you do need to restock those, yeah, maybe hit it up, but maybe not do like a whole hour. Uh, maybe, you know, get a few of the oozling pets and just, you know, call it quits is what I might do in the future if I ever come back here. Um, but anyway, guys, it's, uh, you know, of course you get like these old herbs. You, you know, we got some lock boxes, got the low value stuff, and we did get five oozling pets, which is a decent amount. Um, so let's go ahead and pull up our chat box and see what the value is of all these items. And if we hit our macro here, it is 103,595 gold. So not, not horrible, not horrible at all. Um, but let's go ahead and switch over to our, our alt that is holding all of the loot from our potatoes and add everything up together and see exactly what we made for the one hour farm. All right, guys. So now we are over here on our other tomb with all the loot from the potatoes to see what they gave us for the farm. And as you can see here, we didn't get a single oozling pet, which is kind of disheartening. I mean, you can tell they were opening the bags because we got all the herbs here. Um, and then, you know, we got gems. We, we got some low value transmog again, but nothing of high value, nothing really amazing. Uh, but we will go ahead and add their value to the total of the farm. And this is why I'm saying this. This farm is probably not something you really want to go all out and spend a whole hour doing. Get a couple of the oozling pets, move on, go to your next farm. Because we only got 15,167 gold with all the potatoes. So they really didn't add much to the farm other than, you know, helping with the respawns for the main. Um... But I am happy to have some of the oozlings. Uh, let's go ahead and add that total together. And so for the total hour of everybody together, we got 118,762 gold. Um, not sure that might be one of my lowest amounts for an hour. Maybe I'm not quite sure on that. But, you know, like I said, I, I was completely out of the disgusting oozling pets. So it is going to be nice to have those. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, if you are interested in coming out here trying your luck, maybe maybe there is a chance to get better stuff, uh, and maybe I just had really bad RNG. Uh, I did stream last night and had some pretty bad RNG with the, the stream last night. I did get some decent pieces, uh, but uh, it could have been that I'm just in that, you know, bad RNG state right now. And then eventually it'll kick over to having some really good stuff. But um, yeah, it just, it just doesn't really seem like something I want to stick around and do for a whole hour. Maybe I'll try it for another hour and see if it gets any better, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, so to conclude the video on the ruins of South Shore uh, multi-box farm. Uh, yeah, it was really good for my main tomb with the five uh, oozling pets, um, but not so good for the potatoes. And overall, not that great. I mean, there was no high value pieces. We didn't get a black tabby cat. I think I'd prefer maybe just doing this for like 30 minutes. Maybe this should be like one of my 30 minutes or less farms. Uh, instead of doing it for an hour because i mean i actually had gotten a couple of those oozlings like right off the bat uh so you know that will fulfill the fact of not having any to put up on the auction house and then i could you know get more as i do other farms like frostfire hot springs you know i get them from those i just don't i don't get as many probably when i do that farm as i did from this one uh but i also have a chance to get the azure welt which is pretty good chances there for that and you get high value transmog um which if you haven't ever seen that video, I'll go ahead and uh, put a link up at the top of the screen. Go check that one out as well. It's a really good farm. I really It's probably one of my favorite farms just because you can get two pets and you can get, uh, you know, that high value transmog stuff. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, it really, you know, it has some really nice respawns. I really didn't mind it too much. I just don't think that you should spend a whole hour doing this farm. You know, get your uselings, cut it out maybe hop over and finish out with the other black tabby cat farm which again should be up at the top of the screen go check that one out uh and try to eat some buccaneers vest and some black tabbies from there uh but anyway guys if you liked the video go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my amazing multi-box gold guides and if there is a farm you like for me to try to multi-box and post a video go and leave a comment down below and let me know what it is so I can try it out and see if it works. If it works, I'll post a video. And don't forget, guys, this is the month of our sub challenge. And we are only 20 subs short. Uh, so we got 20 more subs to get for the end of the month for me to host a or to have a token giveaway uh, once again. And so, you know, it's, it's really close. I think we can do it. And if we do, I will give away a wild token. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that's all I really have. This is Baby Powder. Peace. I'm out.